Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a video about the samples. Today is going to be a video about talking about the samples that I got recently. Um, some of the samples, I have tons which we will go through in other videos. But this one is uh, four of them about uh, Zerjoff. Four, well, it's gonna be four from that I was sent from Surge of Universe and two from other sources that are also Surge of right here and then one from um, from Initio uh, that I needed to to kind of you know have a first impression so it's gonna be my first impression of the perfumes I have not tried them on my skin I only but uh, one which is uh, Accento the one that I from Surge of that I smelled uh, out of the little tester a little bit but uh, i didn't really get much so i haven't put it on a blot or anything it's my very first uh you know impression with you guys so we are gonna go through all of them the first one is going to be because they come in this uh, in this uh box so you get to pick four of your samples and they're fairly inexpensive they're like uh, i think like 25 dollars for that for a sample kit and you get to choose them from different their different lines and so i got this four i got four more coming in the mail but it won't be probably for another week and uh, and then i'll review them with you as a first impression of course i won't be able to tell you a full in review because i haven't tested them on my skin so first we're going to start we have italica uh so let's see Italica, what is Italica all about? I only bought red, um, you know, the accords, and I have right here some, um, also something about, uh, you know, the notes that everything that I get is from Fragantica, so it's, you know, it's all up to them. I really have a hard time finding the, you know, complete notes from Zerjoff. So here it says that uh, Italica, it was 2021, supposed to be unisex. So it's for men and for women. It's of course our sweet almond, lactonic, vanilla, nutty, powdery, fruity, caramel, spicy, and musky. And so the notes are almond, on the top almond, milk, saffron, and then in the middle notes we have toffee and bourbon vanilla. And on the base notes we have white musk and sandalwood. So we're gonna give it a whirl right here with the blotter. Uh, oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, this is so good. You know what this reminds me so much of? I feel like I'm I'm smelling a um which is a really uh, a really famous treat from a famous coffee house, an almond croissant. This is magnificent. This is like the embodiment of gourmand. <laughs> I just I can't believe how good this is. It's Italica. So um, I guess I'm sorry it was upside down. Casamorati. So it's Italica from Casamorati. I guess this is the the other line that they have it is just oh my goodness oh this smells so good whoo it's so strong okay so that one um, uh, what I can tell you is that does smell like like um, almond croissant to me it's a very sweet it has this like um this like cookie uh, smell in the background so it just all that it smells like is just creamy, really sweet, but almondy, and uh, definitely lactonic, you know, like the milky little touch in it. And that cookie that comes, feels like it, it, it smells like there's a cookie in the background. It smells delicious. I don't know if I would get that one. I'll have to think about it. Uh, so let's move on. That one's delicious delicious it made my mouth water which i probably needed 
and so we're gonna we're gonna try um, Dolce Malfi now so that's this one I, I guess you know I'm sorry forgive me for reaching and reaching and reaching I'm gonna try not to do that okay so I think we got enough here who a lot of it went in it okay oh okay <laughs> that's very sweet as well wow who okay <gasps> my gosh okay so this one kind of hit me almost like a soda and I I'm sorry for hitting the mic I don't drink soda I personally I personally have only drank soda when I was maybe like five six years old and it made me want to vomit so I, I don't drink soda it's just you know something about it I don't like but I like the smell um it smells I can smell the clove in it okay so it says right here that the main accords are warm um warm spicy amber sweet fruity vanilla powdery balsamic and fresh well it certainly does um smell fresh in the background okay so the top notes are quince uh cardamom apple and saffron oh my god middle notes like clove tolu balsam and incense and the base notes we have vanilla amber tonka bean cedar and musk i can definitely tell you this i definitely smelled the clove immediately and tell you why because i'm a lover of that um spice i put it on a lot of things that i cook i use clove a ton because it's so good for you but not in excess so this is absolutely delicious i smell though it although it doesn't say that it has any of it maybe maybe because i sense right here like i smell something as if it were like cinnamon but very a hint of it although it doesn't say that it has it maybe it's just a trick between the club and the tolu balsam which are making it smell kind of like there's some cinnamon in it but there isn't uh, but it definitely smells kind of like um, like Pepsi Cola to me um, at first. It smells really good. I probably would not get it. This is this is probably too masculine for me. So that's that's probably too masculine. For me. It's, a, it's a masculine gourmand for me. So next is gonna be Dama Bianca. This one I'm pretty sure is gonna be for a woman. <laughs> it's gonna be a feminine one. Uh, I can almost tell you because of course uh, the name. And uh, I feel like it's, uh, it's you know, it, it's not only based on the name, but I feel like uh, this fragrance, uh, I, I think I've heard about it and I feel like I have, I've, I have a hint that is going to be very lady like not just based in the name okay so let's let the alcohol go away a little bit and let me tell you a little bit about that oh my gosh oh oh my god this smells so good and this is for women so oh wow this is really strong um so it says right here that the main accords are powdery, vanilla, citrus, floral, violet, musky, woody, iris, fresh, and white floral. And I can tell you that, oh my god, it smells very citrusy on the top, very sweet, sweet, sweet citrusy. So let's see. The top note says right here there's kumquat. You can smell it right at the top, I tell you that. And lime, yes, citrusy. Uh, and then the middle notes are iris, Italian iris, violet, Egyptian jasmine, lilac, lily of the valley. And so in the base notes, we have vanilla, malt, amber, musk, mallow, white moss, sandalwood, and cedar. I am not 100% sure that I can smell anything other than a, I think I, a lot of fruit and vanilla. It's all I can smell. It is very very good this is something that I would definitely go with and this is a feminine fragrance so I would definitely buy this one definitely um, definitely and um, of course italic got too because even though it's you know it's uh, uh, you know even though it's really sweet 
I think I would really like it. Um, and that one is more, you know, for men and women. And then we have Bouquet de Ale. So that one, we're going to give it a whirl um, and see about this fragrance. So this fragrance is also for women. So, so far we have two uh, fragrances that are, um, you know, for men and women and two that are for women exclusively. But I mean, that's what they have there. Oh, wow. Okay, this one is also very sweet. So this one has this accord, says woody vanilla, warm, warm, spicy, powdery, cinnamon, fresh, spicy, balsamic, sweet, aromatic, and white floral. I don't know why I said sweet twice, but it's there twice. So anyway, uh, the top notes are cinnamon and nutmeg. I pick up the nutmeg much stronger than the cinnamon. And then the middle notes are gonna, gonna be uh, guayac wood, sandalwood, uh, Virginia cedar, and papyrus. Uh, and we have on the base notes vanilla, um, coumarin, tobacco blossom, French labdamon, and musk. So I'm not very familiar with the French labdamon. I don't think I've seen it on very many fragrances that I have. So I can't say that I pick up anything on that. Uh, the tobacco. Let me give it. Oh, tobacco, I guess it's there because tobacco in its natural form smells pretty sweet. I do smell all the spices though, all that cinnamon and that the nutmeg. I don't know if it's going to come out more um woody on you know on you know once it dries, but right now it's this tense, it's it's just all top notes to me. No no. And see now it's starting to really come up. It's really true to what it's saying right here. You're starting to pick up your cedar and all your other mid notes, the ones that are a little bit warmer. That one is a definite yes for me. So we have three that are gonna be a yes. They're gonna be going to my my list, and um, and that's what <laughs> where I'm gonna start uh, my collection. I mean, I'm getting one for Mother's Day, but I am not sh sure which one is going to be. So. Now we have uh, Zerge of Alexandria 2. So this one, I... <laughs> I don't know, I smelled that, but... Okay, so let's see this one. Oh, wow. Ooh. Okay, so this one is the mini quartz are woody, ambery, powdery, warm, spicy, lavender, wood, vanilla, sweet, musky, and cinnamon. So this fragrance, um, wow, it is very warm. This is the kind of stuff that, this is definitely a masculine fragrance in my opinion. I mean, I would wear it, but I am not 100% sure that I would feel like I could rock it, you know? Um, it's the kind of fragrance that you dress up for. It's definitely uh, more smoky, more uh, woody. So let's see. The top notes are palisander, rosewood, lavender, cinnamon, and apple. So that's why you're picking up right away that rosewood um, and then in the middle notes is rose, cedar, lily of the valley. And then on the base notes, we have argawood, oud, sandalwood, vanilla, amber, and musk. And musk. So um, as it's tense right now, it's getting different. I can still smell the rosewood. I don't pick up any of the lavender. I pick up cinnamon, no apple yet. Oh. The oud is taking a huge chunk of the show and this one to my nose. As it stands, to me, I feel like I would start to get a little bit sweeter, but still the oud is extremely prominent in this one. 
And if it's going to come out on the base note, it's just going to make it stronger. So that would be a yes for me. I would definitely buy um, that fragrance for sure. I don't know how expensive that would be, but I like it. Um, and then we're going to move on to our next is going to be Accento by Sergeoff. So this fragrance, hmm, I've heard a ton about it. I just don't know if it's all that it, um, that it, you know, that they rave about. I'm sorry, I had to move my bottle of water. Oh my God. Oh, this is good. So this is supposed to be for men and women and the main accords are musky, powdery, sweet, earthy, floral, fruity, woody, green, iris, and a uh, fresh spicy. Um, oh, this is so good. Okay, so the top notes are gonna be yesen, pineapple. And so the middle notes are gonna be um, iris, jasmine, and pink pepper. And then the base notes are gonna be musk, vetiver, vanilla, amber, and patchouli. I can definitely pick the patchouli here even though it's supposed to be the last on the list i can tell you that i can pick it up and it smells good it's not it's not your screeching patchouli i don't smell the pineapple too much but it's there pink pepper i smell pink pepper and i like that that's a definite yes so that's going to be a definite yes for me. And then we reached our last Initio, uh, Initio Rehab. So we'll see what this one is all about. I don't know much about this one, honestly. Um, I picked it up because I think I read the notes and I thought that would be good. But uh, I, I don't know much about this one. So we're going to keep it a, a little bit of a... Oh my goodness, this one is so good. Wow, I'm in trouble because I'm liking just about every single one. And a lot of people might think this one's, most of these ones are masculine and they are, but honestly, I don't care. Ooh, this is, okay, this reminds me something. Okay, this has incense or something. So, okay, let's go first. The main accords are woody, aromatic, lavender, powdery, fresh, spicy, citrus, musky, and warm spicy. Let's see, this has to have incense because this kind of smells like the way my neighbor, my neighbor's house used to smell when I used to go in there. So, my old neighbor, not my new neighbors. So, okay, so the top notes are lavender and bergamot. And then mid notes are vetiver, cedar, and patchouli. And the base notes we have sandalwood, musk, and uh, and guayac wood. Sorry if I butchered that, but I don't know how to say it. And this smells okay. This one I would not buy only because it has that incense. Oh my God! They don't give me hardly any. Look at that. You think I've been spraying it? Okay whatever so um oh yeah i don't think i would buy this one it's too masculine in my opinion uh and not only is it too masculine i would like it on a guy but i feel honestly like this is a little bit more um it doesn't say that it has any incense in it or any anything incensey um but it's very smoky to me it reminds me, you know, when, when people would put incense to burn and everything, some of them smell like this. And this is definitely what I'm picking up. And for that reason alone, I would not get it. Just because of that. I like the sweetness in the background. That is not, it's not awful or anything. It's really pretty. But that incense in the back, it just, you know, it just turns me completely off. So let's give a... Um, um, Let's give it another thought on this one. So first, the first one we had was Italica, and it's still very good, very almond croissant-like, very creamy and sweet, and it's definitely yes. So Dolce Malfi, um, it's very sweet. Like I said, it's got cinnamon in it. I can smell the cinnamon, and it's, um, it's also very masculine. I feel like, in my opinion, this is 
this would smell really really good on a guy i don't think i could rock it i don't think i could um, ever you know climb up to the top with that one so that's gonna be a no dolce mafia is a no italica is a yes dama bianca it's it's a yes and then we have bouquet de ale definitely yes then we have Alexandria too, which is my daughter's middle name. It's um, this one is definitely your, um, you know, more masculine fragrance. But I really do feel like it is unisex, very very unisex, and uh, I would definitely buy it. I would definitely buy it, and I would definitely wear it. So next we have Accento um yeah this one's gotten a lot a lot smokier a lot woodier also like it very masculine i think it might just be too masculine for me so accento oh my god i think i would buy accento mm -hmm. and then we have uh Inicio by uh, rehab by Inicio or Inicio. Yeah, the incense is turning me away. Although it goes away, it seems to me like it's just starting to fade. I don't know. I would have to taste test all of them on my skin and see how it goes to be able to to make a, a real good decision. But right now, as an you know first glance review, um, I think. Uh, um, I would get one, two, three, four, five of them. Five out of the six would be, um, uh, five out of the seven would be my picks. So that's gonna be it, guys. And then uh, I will be uploading other videos on other um, samples of fragrances that I have. I have a ton of samples that I haven't really gone through, and I'm gonna give you some sort of a, you know, first reaction to them. To see if you can help me, uh, uh, if you if you have them, um, if you if you tried any of this or if you have them, um, uh, can you please let me know how it worked out on your skin and what what worked out and what didn't work out and if you think it's worth it or not. And I'll be making more videos just like this one on the samples because I like a lot of the times people giving me their opinion. It would help me make my decision on buying fragrances because fragrances are super expensive and I really don't want to waste my money anymore on fragrances that I regret a week after I bought them. And so this is what I've been doing lately and that's why I brought you guys, you know, with me to see if you guys can help me and if you have like i said any of this ones and if you have any tips or any other fragrances that you think would be good to sample please leave it on the comments and if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe follow share and comment so that you can help me grow our channel okay and we'll see you the next time have a good day